Hi, I'm Roxy, and welcome to another episode of Celeb Interview, where you get up close with a motorsport celeb and hear what they have to say. Let's get started. When I heard the news that I that I got the seat, it was obviously a, a big surprise for me because um, up until that point, I, I didn't really know where I was um, in terms of getting the seat. So it was a big surprise, and it, it took some time to uh, really realize uh, what exactly happened. Now I've got the seat, so obviously uh, there's a lot of work ahead. This winter is going to be about trying to re prepare myself for, for the first race and uh, for the first tests. So uh, really just spending time with the engineers and, and driving the simulator and, and getting used to everything is, uh, is key over the winter. So uh, it's a lot of, of hard work. McLaren has been a part of my life since I was a, a small kid. And uh, my dad, obviously my dad was, was a test driver and, and did one race back in the 90s. Um, and, but I've always been, been dreaming, dreaming about McLaren since I was a, a small kid. So it's, it's, quite a, it's quite special to be, uh, to be in this car as a racing driver uh, with the Magnus name on the car again. Uh, the championship this year was, was very important for me. It was uh, sort of the year where I had, I had to deliver and uh, together with my, my team, Dems, we, uh, we, did, we did the job and we, we got the championship. Uh, I had to develop as a driver, I had to grow up as a driver and, uh, and this year it all came together. So uh, it, was, it, was very, it was sort of perfect for me to, um, to end my junior career at this, uh, at this level. I've been a part, part of McLaren for, for a few years now in the junior program. I started in 2009. And um, it's it's a big help that I've that I already know most of the people here and and I feel at home here already. The fact that Lewis uh, did exactly what I'm doing now, back in 2007, is a uh, you know it's a, it's a positive thing. I know it, it means that the team has done this before. They've they've prepared a rookie before, and and the fact that he was very successful is uh, very encouraging. I don't think it's uh, it's more pressure. Looking at what what Lewis did, it's uh, it's just showing that it's it can be done and and you can be successful as a, as a rookie. He was on the podium for the first nine races of his Formula One career, um, so that's that's very impressive. I think it's very very unusual. No one has ever done that before, I think. But it shows that it's possible, and uh, and that's encouraging. Next year we're going to have uh, completely new regulations, so it will mean uh, a completely new car. With new engine, new chassis, new gearbox, everything's going to be new. So it's a, it's a new challenge for everyone, not only for me. So everyone is going to have to learn a lot next year. And that's a, that's a positive thing for me, I think, because now um, the fact that I don't have as much experience means a little bit less. So it's, it's a good year for me to, to come into Formula 1, I think. It's, uh, it's going to require a lot of hard work and it's, it, it will mean that I have to, to learn a lot still but at least um, everyone has, so that's, that's a positive thing. I'm sure working with Jensen will be uh, beneficial because he is the, I think he is the most experienced driver in Formula 1 next year. So that will mean that, that uh, I will be able to learn from him. I'm, I'm sitting on, when we're in a debriefing and at the races I'll be sitting next to him um, and listening to everything he says and, and, and watching him work with the, with the team. So that will that'll be uh, good to, uh, to learn from him. My whole uh, family and, and all my friends, it's, it's big news. They know how much I, I want this and they, they've seen me fight for this uh, pretty much my whole life. So they, they are very happy that, uh, that I got this opportunity and I can't wait to see them at the races next year. It's a big news in Denmark that the, they now have uh, a new Formula One driver, um, especially as it, I'm with the top team. It's, it's, a very big, uh, it's a very big thing in Denmark. And they are they're very supportive they're very you know they're very nice about it it's it's a it's a very positive thing in Denmark so um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised by the support I've, I've got from Denmark just want to say I'm, I'm very grateful for the support I've got from Denmark uh, next year is going to be a big year for me and hopefully it'll be the start of something uh, something very big so um, I'm very grateful for the support and I, will, uh, I can ensure you that I will do my very best that's it for this week's celeb interview. Tell us what you think about what they said. Comment below. And make sure you subscribe to Race World TV to get your weekly celeb interview episode. See you next week. Bye. Uh, Formula One is, in a way, um, all about rule changes. It's about adapting and it's about 
doing the best you can and pushing everything to the limit with new regulation changes. Uh, so there's nothing new for the sport.